beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed stay blessed Oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah now Minister Dusu was saying, there are times that it just looks like you are speaking gibberish. However, there are communications in the realm of the spirit. It doesn't make sense to shout and say, oh yeah, what, what does that mean? It's the same thing that was on the wall, mene, mene, tekel, ufese. And one word, mene, means, oh king, you have been weighed in a balance and you have been found wanting. One, one communication in the spirit. So we're not, we're not wasting our time tonight. If this is all we do and begin to minister, we, we are here to announce to Abel Kuta one more time that there is a king that sits upon the throne. For one minute and insist whatever must lead your life this night whatever must lead your destiny this night i like you to declare like a priest that you are in the name of jesus the god of jesuro that rides upon the wings of the wind i declare that the blood the blood will flow in this place taking every misery from my life taking every shame from my life Abel Kuta, are you praying?
right to the car park. Let me tell you this. It doesn't matter where you are tonight. I believe that that flood did the Bible not say there is a river that flows from the throne of God? Hallelujah. And that as it flows everything that must live your life must live tonight. And everything that must be manifest in your life will be manifest. In the name of Jesus. Now, it truly is a burden in my heart every time I have the opportunity to bring the word of God and to minister to God's people. And now I am more touched because tonight is the final session. And then for a number of years, this kind of convergence under this platform may not hold here again. And that means that everything that happens tonight must be prophetic and it must be received as such. Hallelujah. And tonight is a miracle service and so we have a lot to do. I just want to 
give a charge and then we'll pray. I truly believe that the message was captured tonight in the worship. That if you had the discernment to understand, then you will see that the Lord was saying several things through the songs, through the words, ministering to our spirits, challenging us to a higher level of depth, hunger, and passion for God. Hallelujah. For many years, I wondered why God would use certain people, Pastor, that in every generation, like I would always say, God would seem to find a few people. We had a very touching discussion yesterday uh, after the service, and um, um, we were just discussing why mantles and graces uh, do not seem to reproduce themselves evidently in the lives of people. That means that you would hardly, you would find people who were trained by the careers of these graces. You would find people who were mentored by the careers of these graces. But you will seldom find a people in their numbers reproducing the unction and the grace that they were trained under. In spite of the impartations that happened, please listen tonight. In spite of all of the... In the Bible, there was almost no instance of more than a person or two carrying a man of God's grace. Elijah had a band of prophets he was mentoring. He was not mentoring them to just loiter around. Did you know we never hear the exploits of those sons of the prophet? Never. All through scripture. They were trained and wasted. But there was a farmer that had no business being in the school. But something about the rules of the spirit drove that man. There was no prophecy that Elisha was supposed to carry the grace upon Elijah. And he carried that grace. I say this because many territories have a heritage that is not being preserved. There are no people, there are hardly people that represent the continuity of God's program across territory. So, once in a while you will have mighty men, a man, a woman, a prophet, an apostle, an evangelist, etc. They would rise and do great things. And then for a period of time, you will still find people serving God casually. But you may not find that level and that dimension of impact again. And it is not because the people do not have access to that career. I may not have the time to tell you all of the secrets that really govern impartation. But then I just want to state one tonight as we prepare for this miracle service. I've had the privilege of working with God for a while. And I've had the unique, the unique, merciful, um, you know the Bible says, that blessed is the man whom God causes to approach his presence. Like lifting up the golden censer before Esther to say come. You don't just enter the king's chamber because you want to. You may be around the palace but you are called. You are initiated. And so sometimes as, as an election of grace it is true that we can all approach the throne right now but we are talking about depths and dimensions of intimacy with God. And the Lord has granted me by His grace, and not for my sake, for the sake of a generation, to have encountered the Holy Spirit in unusual dimensions. And I want to share with you, maybe in five, ten minutes, and then we'll pray. Because I do not want us to waste this experience. Every time we see men and women of God, many of you stood watching, doing sin minister, and wondering from whence, you know, the fountain of grace from which these songs come from. There is one key that I want to teach us tonight. It is the power of brokenness. Hmm. More than prayer, more than fasting, more than sowing seeds, there is no principle in the Bible that can replace the place of genuine brokenness. As far as accessing the power and the grace of God is concerned. The Bible says that it is the desire of God that the knowledge of the glory of the Lord, that it covers the entire earth in the similitude of water covering the sea. 
So there is no, there is no confusion as to the fact that God desires an effulgent, a manifestation of His power and His grace in Abelkuta across the West, all through Africa. But the problem is that God has conditions. This is something that people do not understand about God. When it has to do with working with God, believe me, there are conditions. The chiefest of them is not your intention. It's more than your desire. It's brokenness. It's a non-negotiable condition to host the grace of God for a generation. You can listen to any message you want to listen to. You can buy any anointing oil from any anointed man, respectfully speaking. But let me tell you sincerely, my brothers and my sisters, you can conjure every kind of oratical skills that you can find. You can study the, uh, uh, and, and train yourself to be able to communicate a sound exegesis of scripture. But nothing in life will ever replace the place of genuine brokenness. You've heard me say the price for all of God is all of you. Not your heart. Not your hand. Not your offering. Not your songs. You. This is the message that our generation does not want to hear. We admire what happens with broken vessels. The place it was Jesus that was speaking, Abel Kuta, and he said, the hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. So he's talking about the manifestation of glory. Then the next verse very quickly says, verily, verily, I say unto you. In other words, behold a mystery. I want to connect death and glory. He says, except a corn of wheat falls to the ground and dies. You can fall but not die. It falls and dies. The Bible says it abides alone. It does not sustain the ability to expand its influence. It says, but if it does die, then from that death, resurrection begins to happen. You want to carry the grace that was upon the fathers that came from this city. The West has a rich heritage of men and women we were discussing almost... The, the grandparents of most of you seated here were part of the, the pioneers of strange revivals. Some of them carried graces and mantles. They may not have been educated, but they were broken enough to veto that limitation. Couldn't speak English, but you could not deny the presence of God in their life. They would step into cities and without speakers, without amplifiers, without clashing cymbal, they would speak and there would be an echo. The realm of the spirit had regard for their stature because they were men who were broken. Listen to me. The real, the real quality that gives credence to your Christian experience is not the dexterity and the prowess of your communication. Those things are just support systems. They are only valid when you are broken. I will tell you what brokenness is. Brokenness is a state that only God can bring a man in the first place. And then brokenness is a point in your life, please look at me, it's a point of death where you lose the ability, you lose the ability to fabricate your own agenda, where you are completely dead to yourself dead to your will. The will of man is one of the highest advantages that God gave him. And if you can lay down that will so that the purposes of God be achieved, that is valuable in the sight of God. God gave a man a will. I can choose today to stop loving God. It's an act of my will and God will respect it. I can choose today that I do not want to be a Christian anymore. But when you now take that will, and say, Lord, you gave it to me, but I lay it down. You make me royalty, but I choose to serve. Serve you with my life. 
love you in worship. You made me to see that you're right hand, but I choose to bow, bow in worship and adoration. That's brokenness. Lord, I have my choice. I can run my life by myself at my terms. But I choose to lay it down before you. I pour my life like a drink offering. Listen. The Bible says the love of God can constrain a man. There are many things that love does. Love can grant access to revelation. Love can make faith work. But love can constrain a man. You are allowed to go wherever you want to go to. And then the more mature you become, someone will hold your hand and constrain you so that sometimes you will not do what you want to do. There are rules to power. There are rules to authority. That you want to host a grace that is generational. It takes more than just praying and fasting, as important as that is. It takes more than just Bible study and an understanding of Scripture. There is a state of truthfulness. You get to a point where you do not have any agenda again in your life. That you have no business building an empire for yourself. The secret I would always say is found in Galatians 2.20. I have been crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, it's a mystery. I am dead but I am alive. I told you that the weight of God is heavy. Only dead men can carry him. It only takes the strength of a dead man to carry God. You have lost our obsession. We live in a celebrity phase. And, and there's nothing wrong with that. But that obsession to be celebrated. Apostle Joshua Selman. Mighty man. Celebrity. You know, that obsession drives us to fast for 40 days. Lord, I came from a family where nobody has clapped for me before. That becomes a motivation for 40 days fasting. As sincere as it is, you already missed it from day one. Listen, let me tell you this. Until God sees himself as the final motivation behind all you do, you are not ready for business with God. You can pray, you can listen to messages, you can have revelations, but nothing promotes more than death. Death is the way to be loudest in the spirit. That when you die to yourself, then the earth can hear you. There is a relationship between death and glory. The power of God coming upon your life. The dispensing of the mysteries of the kingdom. Do you know that a generation does not listen to you just because you have something to say? There is a grace. It's a hear ye him grace. He said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. You can be as eloquent, you can be intelligent, you can have the grace for signs, wonders, miracles. But when that investment of the Spirit is not upon your life, you will be surprised at how people will be uninterested in what you represent. The generation does not hear you just because you have something to say. There is a grace. And tonight my first call is the call of death. That the same place where death finishes is where resurrection also starts. They all happen in the grave. I've come to a point in my life sincerely. I have no business building any agenda or empire for myself. Thank God for all of the things that he has done and continues to do through my life. Humbly. But this man you see in my life and in my death, all that I desire to see is Christ lifted and his glory revealed. Whilst we do that, he has created a system where we can also partake of the glory and the blessings that come with our submitting to him. But it should never distract us. Please listen, Abel Kuta, because I believe from tonight there are we are we are trusting that the floodgates will open up so that certain ancient mantles who is carrying we were discussing yesterday how many young people can you see reproducing the grace upon late apostle babalola people have attended his university people sit under a church and mentorship but if you are not broken the grace will not flow believe me 
brokenness. The Lord, everything about my life is for you. If you ever prosper me, it is because you are giving me an opportunity to be your treasurer. The last one disappointed you. Let me be the one who will not disappoint you. For the sake of thy house, I desire your good. That when God grants you access to the healing anointing, the goal is not to make a name for yourself. Even though in it, he will lift you. But the goal is that you'll be seen. That's why I sang that song. To see you high. To see you lifted up. And I, if I be lifted up from the earth. The earth. Not the ground. You, the earth. I will cause all men. I will draw all men unto myself. So that everything that we do becomes a revelation of Him. The songs, your life, the messages, the miracles. In a few minutes now, we are going to be celebrating the awe-inspiring hand of God upon our lives and people will be receiving all kinds of impartations. But if at the end of it, all you saw was Joshua Selman, I failed God. You are broken when men look at you and see Him. They keep looking at you, but mysteriously, the more they look at you, the more they forget about you and remember him. They look at you, but cannot remember you. Because you are broken enough to become a mirror. That when they look at you, it's the imprint of his majesty upon your life. When they see a demonstration of his hand and the investment of the spirit upon your life, Suddenly they do not idolize you. In as much as they appreciate you being the vessel, you remind them of him. John said that I may decrease and that you may increase. This is how it works in the kingdom. I have seen several people fast. I have seen several people pray. I have seen several people buy books. Filled their libraries with all kinds of books. Attended all kinds of courses within this nation and outside. All in a bid to host the dimension of power and glory that they seek. And they do every other thing. And they neglect brokenness. You must get to a point where you are not ashamed to cause your knees to touch the ground. For the sake of His majesty. That Lord my life revolves at the impulse of your desire. What you want is my command. That statement, your wish is my command. It's not just for relationship. It's, it's for broken people. What do you desire? If all you want to happen in my life is for me to stand this way, this becomes my posture. Are we together now? It's a very powerful secret. Show me a man who is broken. And I show you a man who will never go out of relevance. This is why people have a lot of balloon success. They are up to date two years. A territory celebrates them. You see it happen with music ministers. You see it happen with we servants of God. You are up to date for a season and then you go down. It is not so with God. Your brokenness is like an anchor. It can hold on to the, the, the garment of God to make sure wherever he moves, you move with him. More than just studying the Bible religiously. More than just praying religiously. We must get to points in our lives where we are truly surrendered. I hope you know that when you get born again, I know that we say, Jesus, I give you my heart. But what really happens is you receive his life. That's what the Bible says. When you get saved, you don't give Jesus your life. You receive his life. Are we together? You give him your life when you want to be used, when you want him to, to be used by him. <laughs> Giving him your life is the condition to be used by him. I beseech thee, brethren, by the mercies of God, chapter 12 and verse 1 and 2, that ye offer your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, and He calls it your reasonable act of worship. I'm yours, I'm yours, I'm yours forever. 
I'm yours, I'm yours, I'm yours. My life is yours, it's yours, it's yours forever. I'm yours. Here's the part of the song that I really, really like. Listen to me. Whatever you ask of me, I surrender. This must be the anthem of the generation that will birth revival once again. Whatever you ask of me, whatever you ask, I surrender. Not my ambition, not my desire. I'm not trying to use you to make a name. I'm not trying to use you to build a church. I'm not trying to use you to be relevant. I'm not trying to use you to be a popular man of God. I love you more than that. Whatever you ask of me, whatever. Not this is my life. Honestly, it's not a song for me. Whatever you ask, I this is what we need for the birthing of that hand. I'm yours, I'm yours, I'm yours forever. I'm yours, I'm yours. My life is yours, it's yours, it's yours forever. Palabara Nusiada. Listen, I told the Lord, I said, Lord, if there is anything you will give me, you will give this man standing that will ever distract me and make me to not love you. I'm praying in advance. May it never arrive. And even as I'm standing here, I'm still praying. Listen, money can distract you. Fame can distract. We are human. And so when you come from a background where people have neglected you, people have despised you, it's only human that as you begin to rise, that, that, that passion to prove a point is there. And God says, that's too small a reason to carry my anointing. That's too small a reason to carry the grace for a generation. To prove a point? No, sir. The key must be to be a conduit through which His power and His grace be revealed. This is my message tonight. That if you can be broken enough, my brothers and my sisters, there is no limit to what God can do in your life. God will put His grace upon your voice. You will speak from one point and the nations will hear you. Because there is the angel of His presence. Through the pipe of your brokenness, He will transport everything God in you and take it to the nations. Whatever you ask of me, Every time I'm with God, I tell Him, Lord, I'm not here suggesting things to you about my life. I am here completely broken. Let men keep saying whatever they think I am. For some, it's Apostle Joshua Selman, the great man. Thank you. But while all that noise is happening in the outer court, I'm here with you. Saying, Majesty, what do you desire in my life in this season? Sometimes you may want to go out and you will say, all I want is for you to sit down. Stay there. And he will ask you to sit down and not talk to you. He does not have to talk. He is Lord. Whatever you ask. There are times he will tell you this year. All the money that comes into your account, give it to me. He said, I rebuke that spirit. It can't be God. 
And he says, I was only showing you what is really Lord in your heart. What do I need your money for? The currency in heaven is power. You convert power to everything you want on earth. When God wants to make you wealthy, he gives you his divine power. That divine power gives you all things that pertains unto life and godliness. Whatever you ask of me, So here is a music minister who wants to get songs like Minister Dunsin says, respectfully speaking, just because you want the land of Abel Kuta to hear your voice, you may be sincere, but you will go to the secret place and pray and fast and copy songs and not receive anything. Because the key that opens that fountain, do you not know that for a fountain, where don't you, the flood in the days of Noah, the Bible says the earth broke forth. To allow what was inside to come out. The heavens now also open. That's what makes a flood. There must be a breaking. A tearing apart. But this man can say, Lord, I'm not seeking to be a musician. I just want to know you. I just want to honor you. I just want my life to reflect your grace. Suddenly, he starts hearing songs. The songs of the angels. The songs... Where is this coming from? It's coming from the standpoint of brokenness. And he's hearing those sounds and writing them. And this is another man of God. He's not looking for fame. He's not just looking for a church. He's not looking for a crowd and a good name. All he wants to see is Christ glorified. He says, Lord, I'm available. If ever you seek for a vessel, find one in me. Don't pass my region and ignore me. I may not be the best, but I'm broken. I may not be as educated, but I'm broken. And here comes the jealousy of God upon that man. This is what I seek. Because no matter where I lift you and where I take you, you will not forget what I have done. Broken vessels are powerful. Are we blessed? This is very powerful. We are going to pray. But it's important for you to know that this is how it works in this kingdom. Our generation is losing the technology. We are trying to do every other thing to access real power. Not, not stories here and there today. God can do this. God will do this and then nothing happens. Genuine grace that can keep territories at its stand. There is the prophetic that has been hovering around Abel Kuta, looking for someone broken enough. You pass that mantle every day and the realm of the spirit is saying there is. And there are people, I'm speaking especially to the generation coming. There are all kinds of wells waiting for broken vessels. Tonight may someone carry it. In the name of Jesus Christ. broken enough to say, Lord, whatever you want my life to be, that's what it will be. If you ask me to stop preaching today, I will stop preaching immediately because His Majesty makes demand of that. Was that not what Vashti refused to do and made her lose her place? Vashti lost her place because of one single sin. She forgot she was queen only because she married a king. She was not a queen because she earned it. So her strength was in her weakness. And she forgot it. But when Esther came, Esther mentored us on how to remain in good contact with Ahasuerus. Lord, I will bow to you to no other God but you Lord, I will worship you. Nothing hands that may, but you, Lord. 
tonight you demand to be slain. I will lay down my idol and thrones I have made and all that have taken my heart. Sing, Lord, I will bow. Lord, I will bow. When your life becomes a channel to see Him, that every time people see me, may they see you. Every time they hear me, may they hear you. It's been my prayer, sincerely. Preachers, when we return to a point where we are not ashamed of men seeing Him through our lives, it's not a thing of shame. It's great honor for men to look at you and remember him. It's proof that you are dead enough. Then we will see dimensions of power. I was sharing with Pastor Shola briefly at the hotel before we came. I lay down to sleep and into the morning I saw, you know how birds migrate. That's what I saw happening in this. I saw birds just coming to this auditorium and I looked and they already had the names of people they were landing on. It was, this is what I saw, I was telling him. So I know that tonight, I'm not just talking to buy time. God is doing a quick work, but will he find you? That's, that's the key. Will you escort others while he's touching people? You provide the fire Now provide the sacrifice You provide the spirit And I will open up the sun Fill me up Fill me Feel me up, feel me up, feel me up, feel me up, I beseech you, therefore, brethren. That you offer your bodies. Man of God, don't offer your church. You have offered your church enough. Offer your body. Music artists, don't offer your CDs. You have given them enough. Offer your body. A living sacrifice. Lord, if you seek a voice in this generation, I am available and usable. Usable. You seek a country to transfer your power, your grace, and your possibilities to the nations. Find one here. Find one here. We are talking of an overflow. A flood that will sweep across the nation. Let it be me from my innermost being. Fill me up. Till I overflow. I want to run. One of our own Fill me up Die of a Fill me up 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 ago I was in a meeting in Kaduna and then while I was ministering to the people 
A song came from heaven. You've heard me sing it many times. It says, You have my everything. You have my everything. You have my everything. You have. Yes, your part now. Say, Call of me. Call of me, Lord. You have my everything. Say, Call of me. Say, call of me, call of me, Lord, you are my enemy. You are my four things in this place and we'll wrap up this conference. Number one, we're going to be praying for the sick. It's time for that which stands as a hindrance between you and the next level that afflicts your body. Even this body has to be prepared. A body has thou prepared for me. 
Number two, I trust that we will speak to the ancient wells of Abel Kuta to spring up. We are going to speak to the flood gates to part heat and tita. And that everything that makes for revival, everything that makes for signs and wonders, Let your power flow in this place. Let your healing come. I call for signs and wonders in this place. Oh, Jesus. I hear your own prayer now. Because I hope you are ready to sing. I'm not your robot. If there is any mantle that ever touched the land of Abel Kuta, let it locate my life today. Apostle Babalola, there are prophets that moved upon this earth. Please, I want you to pray. Lord, if, if, if the feet of any general touch this region, then by the Spirit we make a call. We place a demand. Madonna Ready to pray. Kaladara bataka braga de beleka tisi. Karat kabari zalita. Ende leka de bratisia has kabara kada. Randa bara du zaviya kata brade kada bala kabata. Stand to receive. Stand to change level. It's time for the flood to sweep everything that is not Christ. Hallelujah. 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 I don't know why the Lord is starting tonight with women. I think I know why. Because women are gates in the spirit. A woman is a gate in the spirit. That womb you see is not just an instrument of carrying a child. No. Women are gates. When Jesus resurrected, the first person to see the resurrected Christ was a woman. So I want to pray because I'm seeing a grace that is coming on women. This is a strong anointing for revival. I want to bring them out here. I'm seeing 13, 1, 3, 13 people who pray for the sick shortly. Father, 
tear in a bell which I will decree and declare by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic that every woman here who is ordained for the move of God that is coming in the name of Jesus, Deborah, Esther, by the Spirit of the living God, I call you alive. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Please bring them. Take that grace now. I call for Esther. Deborah, by the Spirit. By the Spirit of God, let the blood death of revival come upon the border. Open their eyes to see, open their ears to hear the sounds of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have to be fast. Now please listen. Please listen. There is going to be a baptism. Please listen. This is not for everybody. I'm not even saying up to 13 or 14. There is a unique expression of the Spirit for miracles, signs and wonders. This grace. I know that we all desire it, but there are unique people. And many of them are men and women of God in ministry. Ministry will be barren and unfruitful without this grace. I want to pray. I'm just seeing fire around and that's why the Lord is asking me to pray. When I pray that grace will come on you and shift your life, your destiny and your ministry to another dimension. Father, I pray by the Spirit of the living God upon men and women of God, upon generals in the making, even in the land of Abelkuta, I pray, let the fire that produces signs and wonders, right now let it rest upon you. At the count of three, one, two, three, take that thing, take that fire, take that thing, take that fire. Hallelujah. Madam, this woman, please go. You're a woman of God, you're a pastor, you're a you're I want to pray for you. The Lord is lifting you in this season. I'm seeing a strange grace for miracles, signs and wonders. You believe that? Please hold my hand. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, may that grace come upon you. This is the minister's son. I'm seeing one of the men of God here. A strong fire is coming on you now. Please bring that person for me. I don't know who, but I just saw an anointing. Please help them. Hello, Kim Madonna. Hi. Hey. Hello, Kim Madonna. Hi. I prophesy over you strength and fire for a new dimension in ministry. I shift you by the rod of the higher priesthood. Step into a new level of intimacy with the Spirit. And I decree and declare over your life. The eyes to see, the ears to hear. I release grace upon you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. My friend, lift your hands, you. Lift your hands. An anointing is coming on you now. Bring that man here. Take that grace now. In the name of Jesus. Bring it. Hello, Kim Madonna. Hello, Kim Madonna. Hallelujah.
Madam, this woman raising her hand, come, your life is about to change. My friend, is he a pastor? Are you a pastor? Where? Hold on, please. Hold on, guys. Is the mic working? In Ogun State, yes. Yes, sir. You're a pastor? Yes, sir. You pastor your church? Yes, sir. Okay, I will pray with you. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands. Fresh fire. Take that grace right now. You step into a new dimension in the spirit. In the name of Jesus, the grace to communicate truth with power. I release it upon you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Madam, let me pray for you. I saw... I saw what looked like honey dripping on your head. I don't know you from anywhere. I want to pray for you. It's a new season that God is shifting you into. In the name of Jesus, Father, bring this woman into a new level in the spirit by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to pray for the sick shortly, but the Lord is showing me a woman here. You've been trusting God for the fruit of the womb for five years. Who is that? It's time for God to change. You are in front here. You are in front here. It's not far. Who is that? Was she in front here? Please help us with another. Is there another mic that is working? Please. Let someone who can handle it help us so that. No, no, no. Some, a pastor, yes, please. Maybe this, please. How long have you been married? Five years. Five years. Where's your husband? Husband, because I thought he's here. Come, prepare for a baby boy. Come and stand. I will pray with you. Both of you are pastors. You are pastors. This is what I'm saying. Are you, are you a pastor, sir? Where? Missionary. We go to school to minister to young people. Okay, you are a missionary. You believe what I'm saying? This God, ba, let me tell you, in, in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, He can change your life. I stand by the God of heaven because I'm seeing a baby boy. The, I don't care what the medical condition is. That's not what I'm asking. In the name of Jesus Christ, and here at this conference, we stand by God, and I release both of you. Step into that miracle. In the name of Jesus. I lose her womb. In the name of Jesus Christ. Huh? No. Look at me. Please give her the mic. My marriage will hold be on, my hold marriage. on, hold on, hold on. You are not yet five years. Please give her the mic. I'm seeing that there is something common between me and you. When did you get married? 2015, June. June. 2015. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying there is, there is, I'm seeing something similar between me and you. June. Is your husband here? June will make it five years since you got married. And you don't have a child. You are trusting God for a child. Do you believe that right here? Please, let's, let's minimize. I'm going to pray for the sick. If we do it like this, we, this place will be crowded. Minister Dunsin, when, when we are done, he's going to come and lead that, that Imole Day song. We are going to drive darkness in a way that we must cut it out of this place tonight. My sister, come. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command everything that is not of God to leave you now. In the name of Jesus, go and carry your child. By the power of the Holy Spirit. This lady too. What's your name? Are you married? Where's your husband? Your husband is a pastor. Because I'm saying that this is a man of God. That's what I'm saying. Where is he? Okay, don't, no problem. He doesn't want to come out that. Where is he? You are wearing a yellow hat. Is there someone like that? Are you a pastor? Is, is that a husband? Yes, Do you know me? No, sir. Look at me. Let me tell you this. Not only are you going to receive the miracle of a child, finance has gone down. You need a miracle seriously in the area of finance. Because this thing is witchcraft, my brother. I need to pray for you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Three things. Number one, you really need spiritual intelligence. Sit under a system that provides the mentorship that will open you up 
Have I prayed for you? Look at me. Um, my sister, hold my hand. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! It's over. Gone forever. In the name of Jesus. I want to pray for you. You believe, you believe in God? Because in the name of Jesus, here at Abel Kuta Believers Conference, you will never forget this conference. I command every power that is not of the Christ to let you go now. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing something tight. Her stomach is tight. I lose it now. For you, I pray for you. May God open you up. Supernatural dimensions of grace and even finances. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Abigail. Abigail. I'm hearing a name. Abigail. We are going to pray for the sick shortly. Please be patient with me. Abigail. The Lord is speaking to me. I'm hearing the name Abigail. You are an usher. And you are Abigail. Your name is Abigail from where, my dear? Huh? I'm from Akowe. Where is that? I want to pray for you. Hold on. Bring the person that shouts under the anointing now, loud to the hearing of everybody. Bring her. The Lord brings salvation to your entire family. And the Lord is saying it is over. The plague of darkness. In the name of Jesus, I stand in agreement with the servants of God here. We banish darkness forever. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release you from every oppression of darkness. Find freedom tonight and find freedom forever. In the name of Jesus. There is another person that shouts here to, don't mind me, let me just do my mad thing. Walking by the Spirit. I'm seeing the angels of the Lord move this side, so I'm wondering why. And the Lord, please, let me have the person. But the people that do know their God, they shall be strong. I pray that this conference will cultivate a hunger for God. Stop experimenting. You can know God. There are things you cannot fake, you cannot guess. No. But I know whom I have believed. And I am persuaded. Now watch this. There is someone here, you are a prophet. Truly, you are a prophet of God. But you will need an activation of grace. The power of God is going to come upon that person. Now, hold on. Listen. Please listen. I know that there are many people. There is a particular prophet that I'm looking for. Please help the person so he does not injure himself. The power of God will bring you out here now as I'm speaking. It is by the unction of the Spirit. Literally, you will come out by the Spirit. Just help the person so he does not enjoy himself or herself. In the name of Jesus Christ. We're going to open up prophetic fountains. Prophetic fountains. My glory, the lifter of a mind. Now, oh Lord, that's him coming. Are a shield for me? My glory, you're the lifter of a mind. Now I speak using these ones as points of contact all over this place. Everyone called into the prophetic office at the count of three. Let there be a breaking sword in the name of Jesus. Get ready. One, two, three. I release the grace. Take the fire for the prophetic. The eyes that see, the ears that hear. This is the heritage of this territory. I shift you to those dimensions. I activate those possibilities. In the spirit. 
Oh my glory, Lord, I lift her up. My glory, Lord, I lift her up. Hallelujah. I'm ready to pray for the sick now. Have I prayed for all of you here? Why are they here? Happy girls, I will pray with you in the name of Jesus. The power of God is coming on one of you, eh? When that happens, then I'll pray for the rest. One of you. The Lord is telling me a strong anointing is going to come on one of you. And the moment that happens, then I'll pray for the rest. And then we'll pray. we have to pray for the sick very quickly. Thank you, Jesus. Very strong anointing is coming on one of you. And it will shift you to a new dimension in the spirit. And then I'm going to pray for the rest. It's a strange fire that is going to take you to a new dimension. Lord, I pray for all these ones who have come. In the name of Jesus, the various dimensions that they must step into. I release you into those graces. In the name of Jesus, I release you into those graces. Seven people are receiving the grace for intercession. I'm seeing that grace and intercessor's anointing. One of them is here in the choir here. An intercessor's anointing. I'm seeing that grace. Seven people, that's what the Lord is showing me. In the name of Jesus. I release you into that grace. I release you into that anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Please, when I pray for them, just clear the way. I want to pray for the sick now. I want to pray for the sick. We have to walk with time. Sometimes we are limited by time. The man waving the... Is that a lady or a guy? Among those people waving their hands. The one wearing blue. Let, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where you are, just lift your hands. Shout Jesus. An anointing is coming on you now. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate miracles in this place. I want to pray for the sick man. There are people, listen please, there are people who have come here trusting God for His touch. You can stand in for yourself, you can stand in for your loved ones. Jesus will be glorified. Now, I'm going to ask Minister Dunstan to come and listen, that song is prophetic. As he sings that song, if he needs his backup, please just, just let them come. That song, Imone Day, as we drive out darkness. Afterwards, I'm going to pray for the sick. Please, if the missing child yesterday has come home, remember I prophesied. Where is the child? I prophesied yesterday. Where, where is the person? Please let me have the phone. My God, my God. About to get the missing child yesterday is back home. Please come, let them come. When, when you find them, let them come. Meanwhile, Minister Dusin, oh, this is the child, my God, I don't to look at this. Who shall speak a thing and it shall come to pass? Look at the boy. How many of you were here yesterday? This is the same way I'm prophesying to you now. That whatever has left your life, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, I call it back to return in Jesus' name. When darkness of the fire of light, hey, yes, the power and the gleam of light. You are the light that makes my face shine bright. And as we look your face tonight, we become tonight. Hey! Where darkness of the sign of light, save the power Jesus, we say, you are the light that makes our face shine bright. Hey! And as we look your face, hey! we become, lift your voice and say, Ivala, no! Oh, 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 o
over this place. Hold on guys. Please lay your hands right now where you are trusting God. Let's disgrace the devil one more time in this city. As we worship in your presence the Holy Spirit's gentle touch is flowing now, listen, we're going to do it this way. Please listen, we'll have to be very fast. I want you to listen to me. I'm going to pray. Take your eyes away from whatever ailment. I don't care whether it's a death sentence, whatever it is. Take your eyes away from it. Look up to Jesus. As I pray for you now, it will be very fast. And please let's have, I don't know, maybe Pastor Shelby can help organize just one or two pastors. As soon as the power of God touches you, already many people have been healed here already. And I want you to check yourself. The moment you find out that the power of God has touched you, please if they are coming to testify, just allow them. From the front to the back, the left to the right, I want to make your way. I don't know which of the aisles you will find your way here and we will check you, just verify you and we will take a few testimonies here. After that, then we are going to do the final impartation. Don't miss it, please. The final impartation is where some of you will see come to life what you only saw in your dreams. You've seen it in your dreams. You've seen it in your visions. But you are asking, when will it come to pass? Tonight is the night. So please pay attention. Now I want to pray for the sick. I want to pray for the sick. They'll just check you, you know, just somewhere here. Now, I don't know why God does this, but it's very strange. There's a strong healing power here. But someone will shout under the anointing, loud to the hearing of everybody. Then the healing power will begin to move. That's not the shout. The shout is coming. I want to pray for the sick now. Jesus. Ah. What are you turning to wine? Open the eyes of the light. And no one like you. None like you. Release your faith. The power of God is about to touch you. Into the night. me in the name of Jesus come on Abel Kuta in the name of Jesus my God in the name of Jesus I 
command every devil of insanity in this place be gone now in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of insanity be gone now in the name of Jesus. Right now I declare be healed. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed. Every blind eye I command be open now. Every deaf ear be open now. Everyone on churches, everyone on a wheelchair, in the name of Jesus, receive life. Life to your bones, life to your limbs, in the name of Jesus. Every blood condition, I cancel it now in the name of Jesus. There are several ladies with lumps. Some breast lumps is disappearing right now. In the name of Jesus. There's someone who has like a growth in his ear, verified medically. That growth is disappearing right now. In the name of Jesus. God is healing a very severe condition of pile. Pile. In the name of Jesus, let it go. In the name of Jesus, let it go. I'm seeing someone, your right limb. I don't know what is wrong with your right limb, but the power of God is touching you right now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Migraine headache, be healed in the name of Jesus. Peptic ulcer, be healed in the name of Jesus. Hotness in the body, severe hotness in the body. I declare be healed right now in the name of Jesus. There's someone you don't, you don't smell. I don't know what happened to you, but it's like your, your sense of smell. Let it be restored now in the name of Jesus. It's like your left eye does not see well. I declare from wherever you are, may your eyes be open now. Any, anyone here with a bone condition around your lumbar vertebra, in the name of Jesus, let it be corrected now. Let it be corrected now. Your, uh, what they call this, your, un your uncle. In the name of Jesus, I don't know if you twisted it or something like that. But the Lord is bringing restoration now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Someone has a, a case of heart palpitation severe you don't breathe normally in the name of jesus right now the power of god is touching you the power of god is touching you the power of god is touching you hiv be healed in jesus name cancer be healed in jesus name now whether i mention your case or not in the name of jesus be healed now hold on please there's someone you have a problem with your liver. This is what the Lord is revealing to me. And it's getting you, you are losing weight gradually, almost like someone who has HIV. Right now, in the name of Jesus, the power of God is touching you and setting you free now. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is showing me a lady. Your tummy is bloated, almost like you are pregnant. People will even think you are pregnant. But it's not pregnancy. This is a demonic thing. Right now, I'm praying for you. The power of God is touching you wherever you are. In the name of Jesus. Constant, help them please. Constant urination. I don't know who that person is. You can urinate within one hour several times. And it's an embarrassing situation. I don't know what that is, but in the name of Jesus, even right here, right now, the power of God is touching you. The power of God is touching you. The power of God is touching you. You had a dream and someone hit your head. Is it with a stone or something, an object? And from that time you have pounding headache. Pounding headache. The power of God is touching you now. Now, whatever your situation is mentioned or not, be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. 
in the next five minutes i want you to check yourself watch this the moment you find out that the power of god has touched you i want you to run like there's fire on the mountain make your way here let's celebrate miracles very quickly creator of the universe what can you do Celebrate them as they come. Check yourself. They are above every other name. Miracles are happening in this place. What can you do? Declare the word for them. You are able. Holy the mighty God. You are. Hallelujah. Are you, are you seeing what God is doing in this place, Abel Kutah? My God. I think we should celebrate Jesus in one minute. Check yourself. Check yourself. Miracles are happening here. I don't know what that means. coordinate them. If, if they are here for miracles, please help them so that we can coordinate you. Yes, sir. Chronic ulcer. Hold on, guys. Okay. Chronic ulcer. Chronic ulcer. Chronic ulcer. Constant stomach pain. Even like that the brain. Much, I was just for how long? For many years. And right now, come. Give Jesus praise. Gone. Gone forever. Please, let's have some ushers. Maybe one or two in Jesus' name. Yes, please. Very quickly. Okay, this is the urination issue. Urination. Let her talk, my God. Frequent urination is always in my How room. long? Very often. I go, I come back, I go. Did it happen here even while you were in the meeting? And right now you feel God has done a miracle. Come. Look at me. It will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Gone and gone forever. In the name of Jesus. Yes, please. Go ahead. Thanks, Pastor. The Lord has touched you. Let's take a few testimonies. And we, leg, if we can bone. get another mic, we can spread them so we have one here and one here. If that can work. Bone, leg, bone. Quickly. You, you prophesy that there's somebody with right leg. Your yes. right leg? Yes. I still called my doctor today. She was a chief in Abuja. Yes. That's what happened to you now? Come. Boy, jump. Jump. jump up. Any pain? Any pain? Only you can do what no man can do. Hey, only you can do. Only you can do. Only you can heal. What no man can heal. Hey, only you. Only you. Only you. Hey. Hold on, hold on. Look at this. In the name of Jesus. You are healed now, you are healed forever. In Jesus' name. My God. Hold on. Hold on, please. My God, Pastor, look, look how many miracles. Jesus. Go ahead. When you mentioned the kidney case. Kidney. What's your name? My you can name turn face the camera. Yes. My name is Glory. Last oh. week. We were trying to come for um, miracle service at Zaria. Okay. But the thing just changed hand and I went to hospital. They said I had, I had um, a blood problem and it has affected my kidney. So I used to have pain in my stomach. Okay. Sometimes I feel as if something is moving in my stomach. And what happened to you now? The thing just, the pain just... Oh, my God. <laughs> Any pain? 
check yourself. Any pain, it's gone completely. I never see anyone like you. I never see anyone like you. I never see anyone like you. I never, never see anyone like you. I never see anyone. I never see anyone. That you have HIV. Yes. Calm down, my dear. Listen. Don't worry. Listen. It started, it, it started with the stomach. So and I know that since the stomach has healed, my dear, gone. look at me. You see, let me teach you something. The Bible says, Now the Lord is that spirit. There are many spirits, but there is one that when it happens, you know it is that spirit. And it says, Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Why would God come and heal kidney? And then leave any other thing. No. Everything God does, He makes sure it is good. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, HIV and everything leaves. Gone forever. Next person, quickly. Please, quickly, quickly, quickly. Let's, we have to help to organize the lump. 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 Go ahead. Breast lump of seven years. Seven years. You don't have to put your hands. Seven years, breast long, and it's gone. Ah! You are the Lord that came your prayer. You are the Lord that came your prayer. You are the Lord that came your prayer. Seven years, may it never return to you again. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Hold on, please. Eyes. And the man of God mentioned that somebody that does not see with a left eye very well. Anytime I'm reading it, it should be as if a skill. Right now, yes, cover now. the one you used to see with. Follow me. You are the Lord that takes care of the You are the Lord that takes care of the You will never, 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 never
was in her locking and backache four years ago. So the I was doctor. always in pain. Okay. They diagnosed okay. me for muscle interlocking. My okay. leg on my left yes, side. Please. And backache. So I am I'm always in pain. Anytime I say for father, I always have problems. What happened to I you now? I managed to come to this program today. I couldn't dance very well. I can't climb. You couldn't program. dance? Yes. And uh, right now? now? Yes. Ah, Mama, come. You will dance here with Minister Dunti. Alondoro! Look at this. Ladies and gentlemen, listen. You see, miracles have a message attached to it. It's not just the validation of a man of God's anointing. Miracles are a statement. If God would fix something in Mama's body, what is it in your life that He cannot fix? Something's moving. Something's changing. Return to you again by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Yes, please. I've been having a pain on my left breast for the past three years. Pain on your left breast. Come and it's gone now. My God, my God, never returns to you again by the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank yes, please. Thank you. I normally have a pain on my right uh, your, breast. Your right breast. Come. Are you seeing the kinds of miracles that God is doing now? If something that was there and now is gone. That is a message. It means that there is something God is saying. That what used to be, no matter how long it has stayed, that the power of the Holy Ghost can take it out of a man's life completely. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you. Gone and gone forever. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. Constant stress pain. Constant stress and my body is eating me. Come. In the name of Jesus Christ, never returns to you again. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. I want to hear Daddy's testimony. This man, this our elderly father, and the woman behind him. Let me know what happened to them. Yes. I've been having a plastic ulcer for two years. When I was coming, I was having a sharp pain in my, my chest. Sharp pain? Yeah, in my chest. My God. By the time you gave those who are having a problem with ulcer, I just did relief. And what happened now, sir? It is no longer there. Completely. Completely. Come, sir. My God, listen. You see, the Bible says the thief cometh not, but for to steal. Look, 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 this our father. And at his age, the devil is that wicked to oppress this man's life. But the Bible says, I am come. It's not a sermon, it's an experience. I am come. You will know I have come because I come to bring life and to bring it more abundantly. Daddy, we celebrate you, and in the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again. It's gone and gone forever. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. I had an accident some years ago. Hold on, please. Let's hear her testimony. Go ahead. And, um, What's I your injured, name, madam? My name is Toru Lope. Okay. And I injured my right knee. You had an accident how many years ago? Like two years. Okay. And what happened? And when you spoke the word, it didn't left. Where? Your, which of them? Come. Try to lift it. Accident. And now, any pain? Jump. Jump. Try. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, the Bible says we were like them that dream. I can see everything coming around. Hey! Turning around. See everything. Hold on, please. 
Someone we, was knocked out by online. The, online. Someone okay. was knocked out by the power of God in Songwater while streaming on Where is that? online in Songwater. Songwater. The power of God came on the person there. Then someone while streaming just got a mail of admission with full funding from University of Dallas, Texas. While streaming. My God. You are streaming and watching from wherever. And suddenly an email comes. Remember the Bible says, I desire to come to you, even I, Paul, once and again. But Satan hindered us. Satan can hinder things from getting to people. What's wrong with that mama? She couldn't walk. Check her. Just check her. Okay, go ahead. Yes, please. Just be patient. Let's just... I've been watching her for the past six years now, but this night I just what what happened to you? I didn't see anything again. What 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 was wrong before? Sir, also. All sir, come. In the name of Jesus, it is gone, gone forever, never returns to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Twenty twelve I was diagnosed of hepatitis B, a chronic liver problem. And hepatitis B. Yes, sir. And chronic liver problem. Yes, sir. And so many doctors have told me that it is not terrible, it can only be monitored. But when the man of God made mention of hepatitis, uh, liver problem cases, I believe it and I know that I am healed. Come. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, it never returns to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Please sit for a few minutes. Sit for a few minutes. I know you're standing. Just be patient. For My mom has been um, suffering from lumps in her brain. So when you were praying and you were saying uh, about lumps, I believed and I prayed also, so Where I just called she? her. She's at home. So I prayed and I believed and I called her now. And come, in the name of Jesus, said, come quickly. In Jesus' name, it never, never returns to you again. Go ahead. Praise God. Ill of chronic ulcer for the past four years and back pain. Chronic ulcer, come. In the name of Jesus, chronic ulcer, back pain, leaves never to return again in Jesus' name. I have an online testimony. There's so an online testimony here. Somebody yes. said he felt a skeletal pain in a lumbar region for four to five years. You mentioned that. Yes. And he said, I just flex my back now and I feel nothing. Completely. Usual back pain, when I bend forward and backward, it's all gone. From where? Online. Okay, online. No, online. No. Person is streaming. Yes, go ahead. Okay, I was diagnosed of fibroid gastritis, peptic ulcer. And ah, how come, do you know you're you are healed? You, you see how the I, devil... I started feeling come, my dear. Come. Let her come. You were diagnosed of fibroid, peptic ulcer. How long? Gastritis, fibroid. I started feeling uncomfortable in my stomach. And then I, I told God, I said, God, it's very hard for them to mention peptic ulcer. And everything wrong with me is even inside. I don't even understand. And immediately you mentioned peptic ulcer. And then on my way out, I started feeling so uncomfortable. My hands started burning. And then I just knew that God has done it. Place your hand on your stomach. It will never return to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Healed and healed forever. In the name of Jesus. I've been having this kind of branches in my body for long. And I kept using drugs, but it keeps reappearing and so okay. on. Can, can we morning, just, let's, let's just see, there are so many people, let's just see how we can just take uh, maybe three or four, and then I just generally pray for the rest so that we can do the impartation. So, there, are, there are so many, so many miracles now. We'll just have to manage it. I know that there are still a few. You can do well, whether or not your testimony is taken here, I think there should be a way to just um, pen it down and then... So this morning when I was going to school, I felt another place at the back of my neck. Then this place started inching me and I felt pain. But when Apostle just mentioned we should place our hands on anyway, it's telling us, I just believe God has healed me because the pain was never there. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Hold on. Let her go now. Out! Now! In the name of Jesus gone over. Yes, go Praise God. I used to nurse this uh, chronic um, pain. Even while wow. standing, while standing, it was aching me. So immediately the man of God said, um, some, a lady here is suffering from pain. It's gone. Immediately, it, it was as if, I don't know, as if they, they put, uh, they applied a balm there and after that, oh. I, I, I don't In have the anything. name of Jesus Christ. Pile is a very terrible and discomforting situation. Stand, my dear. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. 
we seal this miracle. It is gone and gone forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Streaming online all the way from Kenya. Healed from heart palpitations, like you mentioned, and toothache instantly. I have another one all the way from Italy. Streaming online. Back pain gone completely. All the way from Italy. Yeah. Come on, celebrate Jesus. She do complain a lot when I called her last. She was like, she could not sit. What happened now? So when he prayed, I went outside to call her. I told her to carry her Bible and read it. And immediately she could. I told her not to use anything, glass or anything. And she picked her Bible. She was reading it for me without any mistake. And I asked her, is the high to say, it's okay, that is clear now. Hallelujah. Right. Come, my dear, in the name of Jesus, we are grateful, mommy. Perfection on our eyes. And may the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Will you open up the gate? Open up the door. Will you open up the gate? Open up the door. Will you open up the gate? I've shared it countless times. I've had the privilege to receive impartations directly from Jesus, the Son of the Living God. I have seen Him. And my life is a testament of that which has come from Him. And in one of my encounters, the Lord told me that everywhere I would go to preach, there must be people there. That the fire that came from Him to me, the light, there must be someone in that meeting that that light can come upon. Number two, I've shared a few of my encounters. I've had the privilege to meet a few people, some in their lifetime, who had met the generals of old. And I remember one of them was talking to me, and I've shared it with you many times, how that one of the generals told him, he says, never die with the anointing that is on you. When the days are almost spent, find young men, transfer this grace upon them. Because every time God sends a word to Jacob, it's because of Israel. He doesn't send a word to Jacob because of Jacob. You know, I was telling pastor that what Dunsin did here was very prophetic. I had planned that somewhere, and as I was ministering, I would call those who had the grace for psalmistry, and then have Dunsin just speak over their lives. So I was touched when he was already doing it. But listen to me. We are made first by the light that we see, and then by the empowerment of the Spirit that rests upon us. But my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of an unicorn and I shall be anointed with fresh oil. My assignment as a man of God is to always ensure that I never return to minister to a people at the same level of grace that I came the last time. Otherwise it will be a waste of time. There should be something that is coming upon you now that did not come last Abel Kuta Believer's meeting. That is going to be the proof of growth in the spirit. That by the privilege of his mercy, we have contended for dimensions and higher realms of possibilities. 
I know some of you yesterday came with a point of contact. I told you it may be whatever it is. If you did come with it, I want you to lift it up. And while you stand, I want to pray. Thank you for your patience. It's the final moment we want to pray. You don't have to bring those out under the anointing. Please protect whoever is sitting by your left and right. If they are under the anointing, just see to it that they are not injured. I want to pray for you. This is the final moment. Such as I have. That's what Peter said. In the name of Jesus. I pray first for all those who are called into the fivefold ministry. In the name of Jesus and by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. I release the grace for the next level of of ministry the grace that can birth the biggest outpouring in this city take that grace now in the name of jesus take that grace now in the name of jesus take that grace now in the name of jesus There are financial apostles in this season that God is raising. Men and women strong economically with the wealth of nations as an individual. It will not just happen by business prowess. There is a dimension of wealth that does not just happen by buying and selling. There is a dimension of wealth that is wealth by the finger of God. In the name of Jesus, I pray as many who are called into that ministry in the name of jesus i stretch my hands may that anointing rest on you now may that anointing rest on you in the name of jesus I will restore the years that the canker worm has eaten. The canker worm can eat time so that the only thing growing in your life is your age, but nothing else grows. I pray for you. I don't know what has been eaten from your life, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I command the grace for restoration on you. The atmosphere for the things that the Holy Ghost is going to be doing in this place how many of you know that all that will happen here and all that is already happening is on account of his glorious presence hallelujah um, I like to appreciate the senior pastor of this great assembly for granting us permission to use the auditorium and for his kindness, Pastor Emmanuel, please, I'd like us to just welcome him upstage. <laughs> Hallelujah. Humble servant of God. Honor to whom honor is due. God bless you, sir. Hallelujah. Now, please look up. I'm going to be explaining something very powerful and I need our hearts to be open. Hallelujah. I need our hearts to be open so that we can catch what the spirit of god is doing tonight hallelujah a lot of people have thought in their or in our quests to unlock the mysteries of the healing power and the miracle working power of jesus christ so many people have thought of different things all from scripture as to what principles must be in place to experience the miracle working power of Jesus Christ hallelujah and many have taught about the power of the word hallelujah how that the anointing of God's spirit proceeds from the word of God and others have taught about the power of the name 
the name of Jesus how that at the mention of that name every knee will bow and yet others have attributed the workings of the miraculous to the presence and the anointing of the Holy Spirit and while all of this is true um, men in the body have failed to understand the relationship between the word of God the name and the authority of Jesus Christ and the ministry of the Holy Spirit in bringing the miraculous to our lives and that's what I'm going to share very briefly hallelujah because many people have rejected the ministry of the Holy Spirit and embraced what we call the word now we have said we are holding on to the word and then many have had very little success in the operation of the miraculous and others have left the word and said it's just the name of Jesus and like the sons of Sceva they have shouted the name of Jesus again and again with little or no results hallelujah yet others have rejected the principles of the word of God and of the authority of the name of Jesus and have just opened up and said it's just the Holy Spirit so who is right and who is wrong hallelujah I needed to first and foremost understand that the character of God is such that all the workings of the spirit and of the kingdom work harmoniously are you listening to me you cannot replace one with another they complement themselves and very briefly I'm going to be showing you how they find their place in the operation of the spirit so let's talk about the word of God the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16 turn quickly Hebrews chapter 4 such a strong presence of the Holy Spirit in this place your presence makes me whole Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 the Bible says the word of God is alive and full of power and so there's no controversy that the word of God is full of power say amen. amen the word of God is alive full of power full of potency the Bible says he sent forth his word and his word he led them and delivered them from all their destructions hallelujah Isaiah chapter 55 from verse 10 and 11 the Bible says that as the rain comes down and uh, and produces dew upon the grass so shall my word be that proceeds from my mouth shall not return to me void talking about the power and the potency of God's word hallelujah so we understand that everything in the kingdom the operation of the miraculous has the word of God as its foundation therefore whatever you are doing if it's outside of the word and the principles of God you can never have the manifestation of the miraculous are you following me the foundation for true miracles is that everything must be consistent with the promises of God with the instructions of God and with the principles of God that's where the word of God comes into play I've taught us here that the word of God contains the word of God gives us three things basically promises instructions hallelujah and principles the promises that God has put in his word and so we find in his word that by his stripes we are healed we find in his word that um, it's his desire to prosper us spirit soul and body we find in his word that we have authority over snakes and scorpions and all the powers of the enemy so the word of God gives us information the word of God gives us the knowledge that we need to operate in the miraculous so you see the miraculous is not a, a haphazard manipulation of spiritual laws are you listening to me the miraculous is an orderly execution of God's patterns and his principles that when the principles of God's word are followed to the latter you cannot but experience the mighty working power of his spirit and so the word of God has its place it becomes the foundation of everything that we do hallelujah so that all of the operation of the miraculous is within the boundaries of the word and the character of the spirit 
that way we will be able to run away from the operation of familiar spirits because familiar spirits will operate in a way that may look like God but because of the foundation of God's word we will be able to decipher and then understand that these are not operations that are consistent with the character of the kingdom hallelujah and so the word of God is the foundation for the miraculous you want to walk in the miraculous or you want to begin to release miracles you must be an ardent student of the word not just cramming verses but to have an understanding of the patterns of the kingdom hallelujah for every time the house is built according to pattern the glory of god will show up his glory shows up as a proof that it has been built according to pattern and so the word of god gives us god's pattern his principle of operation the word of god gives us knowledge and it gives us understanding the bible says the entrance of thy word giveth light and understanding to the simple hallelujah no matter how full of the holy ghost you are no matter how um charismatic and apostolic you are the word of god must become the foundation of the miraculous say after me the word of god it's the foundation of the miraculous so where then does the holy spirit come in where does the name of jesus come in? because it looks like the word of god is all of it hallelujah the job of the word is to inform us the word of god informs us it gives us the orientation it aligns our mindsets to god's principles and it prepares our hearts the word of god prepares the platform for obedience because without a word you cannot obey are you listening to me if i ask you to come you are coming because you receive the word is that correct every time there is no word there is no platform for obedience and when there is no obedience there is no manifestation hallelujah and so the word of god gives us an opportunity to obey god so when god begins to send his word your direction then you realize that it's time for you to begin to celebrate miracles because his word prepares your heart the word of god will always demand obedience always the word of god does not just produce automatic results it will demand obedience on your own part hallelujah there are so many people who love god's word but are not willing to take steps of obedience and until you take steps of obedience you will not truly experience the miracle working power of god say amen hallelujah number two the name philippians chapter 2 from verse 5 let's turn there very quickly thank you jesus i want you to get this simple revelation to prepare the platform for the awesome things that jesus will be doing in this place verse 5 let this mind the word let there is permit permit this mind be in you which was also in christ jesus who being in the form of god taught it not robbery to be equal with god the literal translation there says taught it not a thing to be grasped or a thing to be held on to it says but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men and being found in fashion as a man he humbled himself and became obedient there you see obedience again unto death and even the death of the cross verse 9 wherefore god had so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above not equal to not equal with above every other name so there are names but there is a name that is above them all every sickness is a name every disease is a name every oppression is a name but the bible says there is a name that has been highly elevated above them and the bible says at the mention of that name the name of jesus every knee should bow of things in heaven of things in the earth and of things under the earth and it says and that every tongue should confess that jesus christ is lord the master 
the owner to the glory of God the Father so there is power in the name of Jesus hear me the name of Jesus is the power is not in the pronunciation are you listening to me the kingdom of God is such that when Jesus rose again all authority was vested in his person are you listening to me so when we talk about the name we are not just talking about j-e-s-u-s we are talking about standing in his office in his authority hallelujah the power of the name is where we get the word exousia the power of attorney the capacity to function in the office of another hallelujah so the word of god must be declared in the name of jesus that means it must be declared with the consciousness that we are standing in the office of christ as ambassadors here on earth for every time you declare god's word and it's outside of the name it's important the realm of the spirit only answers to the name so every time you speak when you speak in the name it becomes the same thing as god speaking the owner of that name takes responsibility for what you are saying are you listening to me if you stand and declare and say be free because you are joshua selman there's there's no reason why the realm of the spirit should obey you but if you say in the name i stand as touching the authority and the office of the king and on that basis i make decree god the owner of that name and the owner of the authority makes it a point of reference to back his word according to jeremiah 1 verse 12 are you understanding how they function so it's not enough to speak the word the word must be spoken in the name standing in his office realizing that i'm not speaking as me i'm standing representing the parliament of heaven i have been given an authorization by the king himself his holy spirit in me being proof that i have been authorized and when i speak to demons and situations i tell them in the name of jesus be lifted what they see in the realm of the spirit is not me the owner of the name shows up and says you heard my word it's not the word of the servant of god it's god's word through the lips of faith there are too many believers making confessions making decrees but they are not making decrees in the name hallelujah be healed be delivered be set free i command your life to change and nothing happens in the realm of the spirit because the realm of the spirit is an orderly realm there is only one name that has been exalted it's an office hallelujah it's an office if good lord jonathan calls me today and decides to confer the title of a general in the army whether or not i have the experience of a general the moment i put on that uniform standing in that office i can make decrees and every other rank has to submit is that correct when you realize that you have the highest name every in the realm of the spirit submission is according to strata and authority and so when you tell satan bow he will say by by what authority what's your position in the realm of the spirit that warrants this kind of order and then he said let me tell you i am seated seated with christ in heavenly places far above your name and your situation my name may be joshua selman but in the realm of the spirit the voice you hear is the voice of christos the anointed because i'm not speaking of myself i am speaking as touching his authority and so when we say satan enough is enough over this person's life yahweh the owner of that name steps in according to jeremiah chapter 1 verse 12 amplified says he is alert and active watching over his word not your word his word he only performs his word 
many of us have been speaking our word that's why there's no performance so you heal in the name declaring the word in his name so the word of God without the name of Jesus is impotent no matter what version you quote it from hallelujah you tell a demon rise up I mean stand up be on your feet and go out it will not go just because you spoke grammar the sons of Skiva thought it was just about declaring the word and they gathered the man who was possessed with demons and said we adore you hallelujah they made that declaration but in the realm of the spirit they were speaking of themselves and as a result the demon proved to them that he was not blind enough to see the structure in the realm of the spirit and that's going to be the basis you see why we are confident of the things that God will be doing because we are standing in the name hmm. we are singing in the name we are praying in the name we are releasing people from bondage in the name so we declare the word in the name John chapter 14 very quickly thank you for the blessed office that that name carries brings us to a position where we do not just speak empty words Jesus himself said this in verse 12 John 14 verse 12 and whatever ye ask in my name that will I do whatever ye what ask in my name as touching my authority whatever you ask in my name that's verse 13 that I will do that the father may be glorified in the son 14 he says if ye ask anything in my name in my name as touching my office as touching my authority I will do the Bible says that all authority had been conferred upon him and he gave us that authority the ability to stand in his stead and to make decrees in the earth realm and he assures us that it will be established so the word of God is God's instrument of operation but the word is not potent in itself until it is spoken from the standpoint of the name hallelujah let's quickly talk about the spirit how does the anointing of the Holy Ghost come into play how does the ministry of the Holy Spirit come into play hallelujah Luke chapter 4 blessed father thank you see every time I begin to talk about the Holy Ghost I sense his presence verse 16 and he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up and as his custom was he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up to read 17 and there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah and when he had opened the book he found there the place where it was written the spirit of the Lord is upon me the spirit of the Lord has overwhelmed me and he that spirit has anointed me and as a result of that anointing I will do the following to heal the sick to bind the brokenhearted to preach deliverance hallelujah so every time the word is spoken as touching the office of Christ the anointing of the spirit responds the anointing of the spirit moves in the direction of that word that means when you say be healed it's the anointing for healing that will move when you say be healed the anointing for prosperity will not move because the anointing responds to the word that was spoken 
He said, How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth, Acts chapter 10, verse 38, with the Holy Ghost and with power. He went about doing good. How did he do the good? By speaking. But the Bible says it was the anointing that was responsible. So every time he spoke, as touching the authority of his father, the anointing was released in the direction of whatever he was saying. This is the secret of the miraculous. The harmonious working of the word of God, the authority of his name, and the anointing of the spirit. Hallelujah. Every time you speak the word, you release the manifestation of the spirit. Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 2. The Bible says that and the spirit entered me when he spake unto me. The spirit entered in response to the word. And the spirit entered me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet. The spirit entered me. John chapter 6 verse 63. It says it is the spirit that gives life. The flesh profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit although i'm speaking the agency of operation in the realm of the spirit is the manifestation of the holy ghost so when you say be healed it's not just the word b-e-h-e-a-l-e-d that makes it happen that you are saying be healed standing in the office of christ the holy ghost who represents the continuation of the ministry of jesus on earth responds with his power and his presence The harmonious walking of the word standing in the name of jesus and allowing the holy spirit to find expression so when you see us just saying holy spirit thank you for your anointing we are not replacing the word we are saying by reason of your anointing we are sure that the moment we begin to speak how come is when we begin to speak that there is a rapid manifestation of his power because the anointing responds to the word they were never supposed to act in antagonism to one another you can't say i choose the word what are you choosing or i choose authority me it's just jesus christ hallelujah in genesis chapter one the bible says there was darkness and chaos the holy ghost was hovering around ready to release the power but nothing could happen because the word had not been spoken and god said the word immediately the holy spirit went into motion and there was light that's the, the same way when we say be healed the holy ghost is already in this place strong with his power we are gathered under the authority of jesus so you can be sure that he is in her midst when we begin to make decrees and rebuke satan the power of the holy spirit the operation of angels and all of the manifestations in the realm of the spirit begin to happen in response to our word brothers and sisters this is the dynamics of the operation of the miraculous and tonight we have the living word of god what does that word tell us that is god's desire for you to be sick is that what it says is that what the word says that is god's desire for you to be poor that is God's desire for you to be weak. That is God's desire for you to be oppressed. Is that what he says? Jeremiah 1. I mean, um, 11, 29, verse 11. He says, I know the thoughts I think towards you, said the Lord. My thoughts of good and not of evil. To bring you a future and an expected end. The Bible says, no inhabitant of Zion shall say, I am sick. Hallelujah said upon mount zion there shall be healing and deliverance and the people of god will possess their possession so the word of god tells us the mind of god for tonight's meeting the word of god tells us that god is in the business of healing are you listening to me so that we can align with what god is doing the word of god tells us that he's willing to heal and to deliver he says i wish above all things that ye prosper and be in health is God's will and desire to bless us said I have given you authority over snakes and scorpions and all the powers of the enemy 
he said nothing shall by any means harm you so the word of god has told us already the mind of god concerning tonight's meeting there's no point asking god is it your will this cancer has been there so what the word of god tells us the mind of god it tells us god's opinion is it your will for me to be living from hand to mouth no sir the word of god gives us a revelation of god's perspective about your life the doctor said you have a terminal disease what does the word god say he said i said before you life and death i said before you blessing and cursing he said choose life that you may live so your life is not tied to any sickness there are many of us who believe that sickness comes from god it's a nice way of just helping us and training us so why are you looking for a miracle if you believe it comes from god because you'll be opposing what god is doing then hallelujah many people say well i don't believe in miracles the day you need one you will believe in miracles hallelujah the day the doctors tell you i'm sorry on that day you will truly believe that he's a miracle worker how about oppression many of us have been under all kinds of bondages by satan but the bible says he that cometh from above is above all above all all means all all means all ephesians chapter 1 tells us that we are being raised together with christ above thrones above dominions and every name that is named both in this age and in the age to come so the word of god gives us a revelation of god's opinion about tonight's meeting and i bring you a message of hope and healing i don't care what situation you came here with i know that many of us came with um requests and prayers we have some that have been sent all over the nation people sending in their honest requests but don't just come and say god can you heal me can you can you not no 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 for he is able oh god is able he defeated satan it wasn't a combat it was a flawless victory now that you know that he's able is he willing oh yes he is he's willing for it's consistent with his character of love every manifestation of love is giving in nature and so he, because he loves us he wills to heal us we are standing as touching the name and the office of jesus christ and tonight i want you to know that he is here i am not him the mighty one himself is here and as touching his authority we are going to be releasing people into the glorious promises that god has for them and i am happy that my senior friend and partner in ministry is in this place the glorious holy spirit the beautiful spirit of god the one who comes to turn every wilderness into a fruitful vine and every fruitful vine into a forest the one who brings beauty and glory the one who supplies the anointing hear me the holy spirit is the custodian of the anointing it's impossible to have the anointing without him the one who gives direction gives direction the one who will grant us abilities shortly we are going to be operating in the gifts of the spirit it's not our gift it's his gift freely flowing satire, the one who sees the secrets of the hearts of men it's called the holy ghost the spirit of the living god the one who will begin to touch you and shock you at the point of your need we are confident of his great presence and the power of his voice for he said in isaiah 30 you will hear a voice from behind 
and that great voice is here to speak and direct us to walk according to the word the aim of this meeting is not just for you to receive miracles for yourself but to be empowered so that you will be a dispenser of the miracle working power of Jesus Christ hallelujah that's what the Lord is going to be doing I am so happy now you know there's no magic there's no abracadabra about the miraculous no the harmonious workings of the rhema of God the spoken word that word that is conveyed standing under the office of the Christ himself the Holy Spirit bearing witness in signs and wonders that's what gives us confidence and I'm happy for his glorious presence how many of you are ready for what he will be doing how many of you have had faith rise up in your spirit I don't care what the sickness is I don't care what the oppression is whether you are standing in for your loved ones or not I don't care what the situation is lack poverty death everything that represents darkness will bow to the name of the Christ the living God terminal diseases will die all kinds of oppressions will give way and many of you will live here with a fire in your spirit that with this spiritual understanding you will find yourself dispensing the miracles of God are you ready for what God is doing in this place oh I'm excited in my spirit my father thank you for the wonders the operation of your spirit the outburst of the miraculous in this place we give you all the praise and we ask in the name of Jesus that everyone in this place comes under the authority of the Holy Spirit and under the influence of his anointing that as the word is spoken let it convey the miraculous power of the Holy Spirit into your life rise up on your feet go ahead and begin to pray come on bless him hallelujah 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 thank you for your spirit tell God now is the time for that tumor to disappear for that blindness to go that bone condition to go that deafness to leave now is the time for the reign of Satan and evil to go once and for all once and for all there's no contention between light and darkness come on pray the time is here the word of God is strong in our midst his authority is mighty upon us and his anointing is strong to heal and to deliver come on pray say Lord I came here for business tonight God is already doing great and mighty things. Be thou and through on high and through on high and through. My God, just 
sense. I sense the power of God strong. song one more time hear me one more time as you lift up your voice there are 11 people that the power of God will come mightily upon let's help those people 11 people the Lord shows me as you lift up I see fire just swirling in the atmosphere be thou and throw, be thou and throw on high and throw on high. Get ready. The fire of God is falling. The fire of God is falling hey, right now. Shagala. Soko Pariyakata on 11 people. Please let me help them outside here right now. Hey, it's happening. Soko Sopaja. Rekete Seke. Rakaba Soko Baya. Inside and outside. Roto Shobaka. Rekete Tete Tete Ba. Rababa Katobosa. Rekebosa. 11 people catching the fire.
your spirit. Right now, there will be an outpouring upon many of you in this row. This row, right now. This row, this side. Now, 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 the power of God will begin to move across this row. I see the angels of God across this row. Across this row. Across this row. Right now. At the back. In front. Right now. Let that girl go now. Hold on. Leave her. Leave her. Out of her. Now. Out of her. Now. Come out of her. 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 That devil. Come out of her. Sataka Popo Kosia. Shapatani Bao Shakapata. I parata sakapata ni bau shakata la bara badai reposa kapata ni bau shakata no enchantment and no divination hallelujah hear me the lord is showing me families here i really want us to be as fast as we can because the ministers are also going to minister i see some of you here I don't know what I'm God is showing me a river 
and I'm seeing a lady your parents go to that river and do something very diabolic and demonic and it has been affecting you hallelujah you are in the congregation when I shout five I make five counts the power of God is going to come upon that person and you will be free that's what God shows me one two three four five total freedom total freedom total freedom total freedom for that person total freedom those devilish total freedom bring the lady you are free my dear free please bring her I set you free now by the power of the Holy Ghost now you are free from that oppression oppression you cannot even explain not knowing where it's coming from be free now in the name of the Lord Jesus bone conditions bone conditions bone conditions bone conditions any kind of bone condition be healed now in the name of Jesus every kind of bone condition be healed now in the name of Jesus hold on come God is not done with you yet for you don't know what you have been delivered from let me tell you something God is setting a great deliverance for you just look at my eyes just look at my eyes I want you to look at my eyes just look at my eyes just maintain your gaze and look at my eyes something is happening to you you will be totally totally free hmm. you know my voice let her go let her go let her go in the name of Jesus be free by the power of the Holy Spirit hallelujah I see some ladies here having ovarian cyst for two of you is at the initial stage you've been feeling pains you think it's appendicitis the Holy Spirit tells me ovarian cyst hallelujah right now in the name of the Lord Jesus be free be healed be made whole right now in the name of Jesus Christ ovarian cyst there's a woman okay not one person I think about two people you brought the picture the picture you came here with a picture of your loved one or your daughter or something not a please don't just come out carelessly there are two people God is showing me who is that person who is that you where's the picture lift it up come where's the second person there's another person where is the picture what is wrong with them 
does. She's my ex girlfriend. She's your ex girlfriend. Yes, sir. Are you born again? Yes, sir. Very born again. Yes, sir. Jesus is Lord of your life. What is wrong with her? Nothing is wrong with her, sir. Nothing. Yes, sir. You just brought her picture. Yes, sir. Is she here? No, sir. Hold on, hold on, my dear. God is doing a work in your family. Whose picture is this? My dad. Your dad. Yes. Sir. What is wrong with him? Since when he went for his mother's burial, he came back from the village with illness. He came back with illness. Yes, sir. Let me see the picture. I'm sure more words will be coming. I'll give the minister some opportunity. I want us to finish very, very fast. Is this the only? That's his picture too. My mom. This is your mom. Yes. Sir. What is wrong with her? Nothing. I just came with the picture. Okay. Your dad is sick right now. Yes, sir. Look at me. Look at me. Open your eyes. You believe you can stand in for him? Yes, sir. And receive? What's wrong with him? He's not just feeling fine. You are going to hold this picture. Okay, sir. As soon as you touch this picture. The power of God will run through you and hit your dad right where he is. I listen to me. Listen. That's what God is giving me. Just touch the picture. Just hold it. That's the instruction. God. As soon as, be careful. As soon as, you, it will be a strong anointing upon you. That's what I'm sensing. Hold the picture. Hold the picture. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The power of God touches your father right where he is we command healing instant healing right now for him father we pray that this lady will know the lord and will walk in her ways in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah go ahead John. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord asked me to speak these words. While I was praying to my closet, the Lord says, For I'm uncovering their plot. He said, And lead us. He said, Lead us in this country. He said, Certain leaders will be brought to the law as a result of assassinations and terrorism in this country i was praying and god began to speak to me and asking me to pray about the independent celebration of tomorrow god says for this hour he said i'm listening to the prayer of the president of this nation he said even as nigeria enter into our 51 anniversary our independence anniversary god says i'll cause the prayer of david in psalm 51 to be answered in his life God says for as many that can stand on their watch as watchman tonight, he gave me the instruction to stand from 11.30 and pray into the 51st anniversary of this nation. He said for as many watchmen that will stand and pray tonight into the celebration, he said I will avert evil tidings in this nation. The Bible says pray for the peace of Jerusalem, they shall prosper that love thee. I will declare tonight that peace within our walls and prosperity in our palaces. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm seeing an infant baby, a little baby, fair. I don't know if there's anybody who brought a baby like that. God wants me to pray for that baby. I'm seeing a little fair baby, an infant baby. For I see the spirit of infirmity coming upon that baby. From outside inside you came with a little baby i'm seeing that baby god asked me to pray for that baby where's that baby ushers please help us i see a spirit of infirmity come upon a little fair baby father we thank you we thank you lord jesus we thank you lord we thank you we give you praise we thank you because this baby's life shall be spared we cause the spirit of infirmity tonight we cause the spirit of infirmity tonight we declare that this baby's life is preserved by the anointing of the spirit in the name of the lord jesus for i hear the lord says i open the door for his father i see certain limitations i see certain hindrances and frustration that he has experienced even around the works of his hand god says i'm opening doors tonight god says i'm opening doors tonight 
God says, I'm wiping your tears while I give you a new song tonight, says the Spirit of the Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Lord, we give you praise. My sister, look at me. God says, even that abdominal pain, excruciating pain that comes upon you even in this area, God says he's bringing deliverance. Lift up your hands. Look at me. Look at me. Lift up your hands. You, you. Lord, I pray for her right now. I command deliverance to come right now. In the name of Jesus. God says, I'm even causing doors of marriages that have been sure to be opened over your family. In the name of Jesus. God says, doors of marriages are opening tonight. God says, I break that limitation. I break it tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus. God says, your family will begin to celebrate. Because marriages are coming. Watch it and see the word of the Lord being fulfilled in your family. In the name of the Lord Jesus. That curse is averted. Lord, we give you praise. Basically, just lift up your hands. Let me pray for you. I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus that you leave this place whole. We declare that infirmity will not find its root in your body anymore. We declare that your back will not touch the hospital bed. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm seeing somebody, like while you were born, some cuts, marks were given to you in your body and certain incantations were done. And this is what has been responsible for misfortune that you have been experiencing in your life. Certain circles of evil that has been coming to you. Where are you? Just stretch out your hand. He's a guy. Where are you? Just come. I want to pray for you right now. God says that yoke will be broken over your life. Where is that person? Please just... Lord, I pray that those marks, those marks of incantation that was put over your body that is responsible for the evil, I declare it broken right now. I declare freedom to you in the name of Jesus. I declare you delivered in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm hearing the Lord give me the name Charles. I declare over you in the name of Jesus that those marks of evil are broken. I declare freedom and liberty to you right now. In the name of Jesus, be free. Just I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Just lift up your hands where you are. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that you are rolling away those limitations. I declare open door for him in the name of Jesus. The Lord says open door comes to you right now. God says that place that you have experienced frustration, God says is about to give you victory right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mrs. William, just lift your hands. God says, I'm answering your prayer tonight. God says, I'm bringing the desires of your hands, the desires of your heart into your hands. He says, from now henceforth, the intimacy that you have desired with my spirit, you will need to see it like never before. God says, stretch your hand. Just put your hand like this. I see the Lord says, you begin to see the anointing to heal come upon your life. As you minister to people, you begin to see the anointing to bring healing upon their life. I declare it, take it right now. I declare the anointing to come into your hands. Let the fire of God burn into you right now. Burn, burn, burn in the name of Jesus. Bridget, lift up your hands. God says, I'm anointing your foot tonight. He said, I bring acceleration to your foot. In the name of Jesus, take it. Refine us fire, take it upon your life in the name of Jesus. Among the people that Apostle was praying for for bone condition, I see somebody, the injury that you have in your bone came as a result of an accident, a car accident. You had a car accident and you have injury somewhere inside your body. Just lift up your hands. A car accident. A car accident that left you with an injury. A car accident that left you with an injury. Put your hands there right now. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I release your healing virtue. Be healed, be healed, be healed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. Let like God says, it's a door of opportunity that I'm open for you this season. God says, within now in December, watch and see the opportunities that will come for you in your sound work who amaze you to be more than you have ever experienced in your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Anu, I want to pray. I heard the Lord says, I'm averting that conspiracy over your dad. I don't know what's happening around him right now. I don't know that which has been happening that is a concern to your family. But God says, I'm averting a conspiracy. God says, and I'm bringing a testimony and your family shall celebrate. I release that in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Celebration come. The conspiracy is averted. I see that it even has to do with his work. Only look at me. I see that it has to do with his work. Certain people have teamed up against him in his place of work. Am I saying it? Yes, sir. Certain people have teamed up against him in his place of work to lift him down, to bring him down. But God says, I'm causing that spirit to be averted today. And God is bringing a testimony to your family. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Just, just Hallelujah. before, sorry, one minute. Do we have any Stephen Daniels in this place? From the time I stood up here, I've been hearing Stephen Daniels. Stephen Daniels. That's your supervisor. Stephen Daniels. I've been hearing Stephen Daniels from the time I sat down. Stephen Daniels. I don't know who he is, but I hear the Lord said that he's bringing rapid increase and restoration for Stephen Daniels. I don't know I don't know who Stephen Daniels is, but I've seen that the man has been oppressed by people again and again. God is showing me that he has been oppressed. The Lord is saying, tell Stephen I Daniels, I'm bringing him rapid restoration and increase. Hallelujah. Can you calm down, please? please. When, when the worship was on, I was sitting there and the Holy Spirit began to speak to me about what is going to be doing in the to the church in the area of finance. I saw the, the Lord open my eyes and I saw angels in charge of finance, in charge of uh, wealth and uh, prosperity being released in the church like never before. And I saw something like a something like a, a in the shape of a stone, like a diamond, being dispersed to the eyes. There's a lady, there's a black lady sitting. The black lady by the camera there, you there, you there. Yeah, I saw something like a diamond being given to you during worship, and I know it has to do with prosperity to your family. To your family, I hear that the Lord said it's going to be releasing a prosperity anointing upon the church like never before. And the Lord told me that one of the things is going to require from each and every one of us is obedience. So when you're talking about obedience, it confirmed what God told me. And I was asking the Lord, what about, uh, uh, what role does uh, faith, does the fear of the Lord, does holiness and everything does? And the Lord told me that if we just obey Him, by obeying Him we will live in holiness, by obeying Him we will walk in faith, and by obeying Him we fear Him. So the Lord said it's going to be releasing wealth to the church like never before. And also, Reverend Ima, can you come to the front? When Apostle asked uh, the usher to pick you to the, the stage, the Lord opened my eyes and I saw the Lord opening a door for you to travel out. And the Lord said, He has seen your faithfulness. Even you, you and your wife have seen how you have managed a lot of little, little resources. The Lord said He has tested you he has seen your integrity. He has seen your faithfulness. He will reward you. And also, my brother, during the worship, when the choir was worshiping, I saw an angel of the Lord changing your coat. You, I, see, I saw an angel of the Lord changing your garment. Changing your garment. I don't know what that means. But I know the Lord is going to do something in your family. And also, there's a, there's a lady that has a, a challenge with the chest. The chest... Uh, a problem with the chest is a periodic problem that normally comes to the chest. 
I see the Lord extending healing power upon you. Okay, it's, it's bronchitis. Okay. I see the Lord doing a healing upon you. And also, there was a guy who prayed for uh, Apostle last time, a guy that was involved, is involved in the student uh, uh, politics. I don't know whether you are here. Well, a guy that was involved in the student politics, that if the president of the present president of our session is who? Come out here, come out. I'll tell you what the Lord just come. In a vision, I saw, in the, when I was sitting there, I saw in a vision, I saw three men, three men with uh, white, I believe they are Malo people, outside guys. With, open your eyes and look at me. I saw three men with mustache setting a conspiracy against you in place of decision. As a decision that is going to come to you to take uh, this very semester, the first semester of uh, next session, are we in the session already? Uh -huh. I see that's a decision that will, that will involve uh, uh, the student relationship with the school, I mean with the school authority. I saw three men with mustards who tried to set a conspiracy against you, and the Lord said it's going to give you mouth and wisdom. Is going to give you grace and keep you in integrity. Please, can you step for your hands and pray for him? Father, we pray you keep him, Lord. Father, I pray you keep him, Lord. I say you keep him, Lord. We pray you keep him in integrity. Keep him in integrity. In Jesus' name. Now, still not Reverend Ima, I see a recommendation. Somebody is going to be recommending you somewhere. Somebody is going to be recommending you somewhere, and the Lord says he's going to grant, grant you favor in Jesus' name. You Can you come? You, the lady there, I saw something like a diamond be given to you. A dark lady there behind Jordan. God is going to be releasing unusual prosperity and anointing upon the church. I even saw little children at the age of 9, 10, playing with diamonds. And the Lord referred me, and the Lord referred me to the book of Psalm, chapter 24, verse 1. The Bible says that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. And the Lord said, if only we'll walk in obedience to him, if only we'll walk in obedience with him, if only we'll walk in obedience. If only we we'll walk in obedience, we shall eat the good of the land. Father, Lord, even concerning the family, even uh, the crisis that that is happening in the family that was at a direct result of financial challenges, Lord, is answered in Jesus' name. We call forth wealth, unmeasurable wealth, to your family. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Sorry. Who is Janet? Who is Janet? Do we have any Janet in this place? Come. Look at me. Where is your father? What does he do? He works with ABU. Yes, sir. For how long has he been due for promotion? Mm, he's retiring next year. He's retiring next year. Yes, sir. Do you know that the the position he's in now is supposed to be have been he's supposed to have been promoted um, long to another uh, what do I call it now another step another promotion but people have been conspiring against him and have been seeing. Uh, I'm, I'm seeing right now that something good was supposed to come to him last year and then there were people that stepped in the Lord is saying I should tell you that she will use you to bring a miracle to your family Amen. now don't don't doubt how it's going to happen just believe what I'm telling you alright the Lord is going to use you to bring a miracle to your family I'm hearing Godia. Anybody with the name Godia, whether you or your loved one, I'm hearing Godia. Do we have anyone inside, outside Godia? 
God has a word for that lady. Who is the person? Ron, come. That's your name. That's your name, Godia. Is your name Godia? Well, I know it to be Sarah. Hallelujah. Uh, Godia, I saw like an attack upon you and I, I the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord upon me. I mean, they called Godia. I saw you in particular walking in cycle. And the Lord said He's going to bring deliverance to you and it's good, the deliverance is going to be permanent. What the Lord said. Look at me. Let me surprise you. Look up. He's a tall young man. He will meet you in white. He will be wearing a blue tie. That's your husband. Yes, yes it's true. It's true, sir. It's true. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord. That's that's. And that's it's true. I pray for you in the name of the Lord Jesus. That the Lord will bring a great restoration to your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Um, the Lord told me about some conditions, people with okay, blood challenges, okay? You have blood challenges, different kinds of challenges in your blood, whether it's a sickle cell or something in your, your blood system. Different terminal diseases in your blood. Please quickly come. The Lord began to tell me that change the seed. Okay? Change the seed and change the tree. Hallelujah. So it's from the seed, from their blood system. We'll be trusting the Lord to do a thorough job in you to change it. Do you understand me? Hallelujah. And now the Lord began to show me a particular case. Um, especially a young man. You gave yourself, you, you like watching horror films, especially vampire films. It's beginning to affect you terribly. I see it drawing you close to coffins. Okay, quickly come out. Then I receive words of knowledge for people with um, pains on their joints, just their ankles, specifically ankles. Ankles, you have pains on your ankles, quickly come out. Then I receive the word for there's somebody here who's like a block on your, your neck and your head just here you feel such pain strong pain like a block quickly come out the lord began to tell me he's going to be relieving, releasing fire into our hearts to the hearts of so many people Mokhtar specifically the lord says he's going to be imparting fire into your heart to your heart in this meeting hallelujah we'll be praying for you please let's just lay hands on them uh, you, madam, you come. I see the Lord giving you uh, see a job. As Please, as they lay hands on you, the power of God will come I upon see, just you. Just stay there. Don't come. Don't come close. Stay far. I see the Lord giving you a walk, a very good walk. You've been asking Him. You've been praying and asking Him to do something, and He said that He has answered your cry. And. He's going to give her a walk before the year, year runs out. A good walk. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, um, when John first stood here and was giving a prophetic word for the nation, um, I didn't want to say it, but God asked me to say it last last year i had a vision a real vision i was there and i saw the coffin of a prominent presidential figure i saw that he died and they were taking him and the lord says it's happening soon this country is going to lose a prominent presidential figure on account of their wickedness and things against god God will bring judgment. Write it. It will happen. Hallelujah. God will bring judgment. God will bring great judgment. 
great judgment great judgment hallelujah i want to pray i'm really trying to ensure that we beat time we can flow um let me invite mr white is god showing you anything yes let me just invite mr white is god showing you anything hallelujah um i was led to do this and thank god he called me up the bible says when the judgments are upon the earth the inhabitants of the lands they learn righteousness now i want us to do this it's very prophetic it's very very prophetic some of you have been passing through so much in your families so much pains and so much afflictions by the enemy we're going to do this very prophetic all the ministers were going to join our hands and we're going to rain judgments upon all the things that have limited you for for so long for so long it's enough enough is enough when the judgments of the lord are upon the earth the inhabitants of the land they learn righteousness wherever that um, affliction is coming from listen to me some of you you will hear the news you will hear the news from your villages and from wherever the affliction is coming from you are going to hear the news we are going to rain judgment upon all the afflictions of the enemy praise god that's just what i, I was led to do and i heard that very clearly in my spirit please Hallelujah. let's join our hands together and do this please okay go ahead and let's pray let's do that quickly Bring justice to your people, O oh God. Banta bakosa tabrega de balarabos. Raka tata baraka de bagasega de balarabos. Lord, let the affliction end over the lives of your people. We forbid the scourging tongues of men in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. hallelujah praise god as i was uh, standing there the lord began to tell me something about heart condition and as he was listening to me i suddenly saw an angel uh listen whether you are uh, standing for someone or you are here with a heart condition as as the lord was listening to me i didn't just see healing i see an angel with a heart all right new heart and as i was still pondering over it suddenly i discovered that the angels who are three of them three angels with a heart in their hands i don't know who you are outside and inside just receive it right now receive it right now receive it right now supernatural heart transplant now 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 in the name of jesus that's one number two I asked this uh, our sister that will have a baby to stay behind. I don't know. At the song, there's a woman I see that is you are. It's like you are desperate, desperately need of a child. Please, wherever you are, please. The Lord said you should just come and carry this baby. You just say come and carry this baby. Whatever you are, I don't know. Just come. In the name of you, standing for someone, please just come carry this baby. I say a miracle. It's a miracle. Yes, it's a woman. It's a woman. It's a woman. Carry hold on. How many of you want to hold the baby? For yourself or for your loved ones? In the name no, of No, no, no. Listen, listen. Stop laughing. This is a prophetic instruction. We are going to pray for all those who are trusting God for children. But this is specifically... Okay, now that you've seen the baby, you can... Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, we have to do this very fast. Okay. Okay. I'm 
being told that there's someone being delivered right now from the spirit of suicide suicide you've been you've been thinking about death again and again always thinking about death i declare that you're free right now hallelujah now i'm going to pray for everybody right now hallelujah we cannot go on and on because of time i'm going to pray for you right now now is the time for you to lift up whatever request you came with whatever picture i don't care what it is those who are streaming online hallelujah now is the time hallelujah i hear the cry of children children in my ears i hear the cry of children every barrenness right now in this place i take authority over it in the name of jesus we release miracle children in the name of jesus receive for yourself and for your loved ones in the name of the lord jesus even if they don't have wombs we give them brand new wombs in the name of jesus hallelujah death cancellation god is canceling death supernaturally there are many of our parents there are some of us who the debts that we owe and that our parents owe will only take a miracle i know one of you your mom was owing people and she's late right now in the name of the lord jesus i command supernatural death cancellation receive it now in the name of jesus inside and outside receive it in the name of jesus hallelujah those of you seeking admission into abu promotion comes neither from the east nor the west nor the south it comes from god receive it now in the name of jesus receive it now in the name of jesus your jumps come and pursue me notwithstanding receive it in the name of jesus hallelujah right here we release supernatural marriages makaposo to prakata in the name of the lord jesus receive for yourself and for your loved ones there are a number of you who have suffered casualties in your families in the name of jesus we break that bond of delay in the name of jesus fibroids growths cancers tumors die and go out of their bodies in the name of jesus every growth disappear right now right now in the name of jesus hallelujah those of you trusting god for a financial miracle manasseh spoke about it in the name of jesus please see take what you are saying serious we are not just speaking to do a miracle you will record testimonies that will shock you from this prophetic declaration let the holy ghost begin to move across families across bank accounts supernatural increase in the area of your finances receive it in the name of jesus oh for there is something called the anointing to prosper it's not by mathematics there is an anointing that makes it happen receive it now in the name of jesus hallelujah terminal disease terminal disease every kind of terminal disease hiv be gone now in the name of jesus whether in this place or by prophetic connection i come against that spirit be healed in the name of jesus ss your genotype ss in the name of the lord jesus we change it now we change it to aa in the name of jesus biology notwithstanding we change it right away hallelujah every plague of death every plague of death 
upon the life and the family of everyone in the name of Jesus you are free from it receive it in Jesus name receive it in Jesus name every plague of death you are free from it in the name of Jesus I see someone with a prayer request for a hole in the heart let that hole close now let that hole close now right now in the name of Jesus Christ let that hole close right now hallelujah migraine headache migraine headache every kind of migraine be gone in the name of Jesus Christ many of you are trusting God for your school fees for the next session for those of you who are students you shall not see wind you shall not see rain yet you will not beg anybody for your school fees the hand of the Lord will bring it receive it now in the name of Jesus hallelujah many of you are trusting God to begin to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit with clarity and precision in the name that is above all names let your spiritual ears be open right now be open right now every spiritual ears be open to hear the voice of the Spirit and let your eyes be open let your eyes be open let your eyes be open visions in the name of Jesus dreams in the name of Jesus prophetic encounters in the name of Jesus receive it receive it receive it receive it in the name of the Lord Jesus a supernatural anointing to heal the sick the Lord says to heal the sick if you believe it lift your hands Lord right now in September miracle service a rain of the healing anointing receive it right now inside and outside the healing anointing receive it is coming upon you like fire in your hands receive it receive it receive it receive it receive it in the name of Jesus receive it God is going to launch entrepreneurs right now I'm just flowing as the Holy Spirit is giving out trance we'll soon be rounding up many of you will feel fire literal fire upon your head ideas that will shock you hallelujah at the count of three that's what God tells me that it will come creativity that will shock you one two three receive it receive it receive it inside and outside receive it Shaka Paroko Sobaya supernatural ability for entrepreneurship receive it in the name of Jesus supernatural entrepreneurship ability is yours it's yours now many of you will see pictures many of you will see things businesses in your dreams Jordan is stepping into a new level a brand new level of creativity hallelujah hear me the Lord says he's releasing an anointing that whoever you shake you will impart the favor of God now please believe it
impart the favor of God. I release that anointing. Now, receive it at the back. Receive it outside. Receive it. The favor of God. The favor of God. The favor of God. The favor of God. Habits. Habits. I see all kinds of habits. Masturbation. Drunkenness. Lust. All kinds of demonic influences. Be free from them right now. 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 In the name of Jesus. Many of you hear voices in your rooms. You hear voices. That's what the Lord is telling me. Voices. And many of you see people. They talk to you and they mislead you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Right now. I cause an eternal separation between you and these voices in the name of Jesus every mental challenge that is impeding your progress in terms of your education or assimilation there are many people you are not dull you don't know what the problem is right now in this miracle service i release the super intelligence of the spirit of god receive it receive it it's yours receive it Hallelujah. In one minute, I'd like you to express whatever you came here with that has not been mentioned, that you told God to meet that need, whether financial, whether whatever it is. Lift up your voice in one minute and say, Lord, I receive now. Mention it. Mention it by faith. Mention it. Say, Lord, I receive. I receive for my family. I came with an expectation. Make sure you don't waste your stay here. Come on, pray. Lord, release it upon your people. All their requests. All their requests. All their requests there are many supernatural things happening there's no time for us to bring them but you will go back change knowing that in september miracle service you encountered something hallelujah the last set of people are praying for right now hallelujah Manasseh said it, John Trust said it some one or two months ago and the Lord has been showing me there is coming a supernatural outbreak of wealth and prosperity hear me, upon the body of Christ in Zaria I don't know, hear me please I will not tell you what God has not said are you listening to me? we have been announcing it but you see from this first October we are entering there is going to be a supernatural release of fearful finances god will give people instructions that don't make sense and those instructions will open fearful and doors and that's what i want to release right now i want to release it let me tell you something brothers until that anointing is upon you you will struggle for nothing just believe me until that anointing is upon you 
this is one of the major impartation all of you will live with if at all you forget anything you receive today a major financial impartation is going to come upon you for as many of you who have faith to believe this supernatural impartation will come upon you and this will be the major thing the landmark experience that you will leave september miracle service with father you gave me this instruction and under the unction of the spirit of god the one who confirms the word of his servants i stand as your servant and that everyone under the sound of my voice young or old male or female in the name of jesus receive the power to prosper many of you don't have an idea of what that power is and what it does receive it right now oh brothers receive it don't reject it receive it it's called the power to prosper i release it from my heart i release it from my spirit receive it receive it receive it function in it the fullness of it it will speak for you because of what god is doing in this season you will step into a fearful undeniable dimension of wealth and prosperity that even you cannot explain if you believe it shout amen if you believe it shout amen if you believe it shout amen if you're here and you're not born again jesus is not lord of your life inside and outside very quickly i'd like to invite you these signs and wonders are a mighty act of god right now as we put our hands together i'd like you to come out you've not been born again or you were once born again but have derailed from the path of god inside and outside leave your seat and run here very quickly you're welcome inside and outside as the lord is speaking to you please i'd like you to leave your seat and come they are coming appreciate them appreciate them hallelujah don't sit back y'all I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salman. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus I'll see you again bye